hope all of you doing great and staying safe and maintaining all the social distancing. Today you're gonna learn and we will show you how to make soya chunk masala. This is so good and delicious, very high in protein, high fibers, and it goes good with everything like roti, bread and rice. So what are you waiting for? Let's go and look at the recipe. Meal maker or soya chunks. Cinnamon sticks. Cloves. Coriander seeds. Cumin seeds. Cashew nuts. Coconut. Me powder. Chopped onions. Coriander leaves. Chopped tomato. Chopped chili. Chopped chili. And curry leaves. The first step is take water and add take water and add the soya chunks into it which is also called as mill makers so and just put on the flame it's not like you know you wait until the water gets heated up hot and then put the soya chunks no you gotta like have both together and put it on the flame high point. so this will go for 10 minutes and after that you're gonna drain the water from these um, the soy chunks, the snow makers. After you strain everything completely, every drop of water from these uh, soy songs, chunks, I mean, sorry, um, you're gonna like leave it aside. Pan and add some oil to it, which is maybe like two tablespoons of oil to it and wait until it heats up and after it gets heated up nicely, you're gonna add the boiled soya chunks into it. Add little by little, don't add like a whole, uh, like you know, whatever you want, don't add all of it all at once. You're gonna add like first half to earth and like let it like dry a little bit, and then you're gonna add the whole second half, like the rest of the soya chunks into it. You see, after you fry the soya chunks, this is how it looks. So do not wait until it turns like purely all like caramelized color or like dark golden brown. You, you see the little like you know brown in color, that is more than enough. So it hotly you're gonna fry for like five minutes. Or if you want much more uh, fry, you can just like don't go over like seven minutes. In the same oil, you're gonna add nine all the chopped onions into it. Then saute it a little bit. The green chilies and also the curry leaves along with it. Now we're gonna fry until the onion turns into a caramelized color. Oh wow, it smells good already. I think because of the you know, because we using the same oil in which we fried the soya chunks, I guess that is causing the flavor to onion, green chilies, and curry leaves and stuff. That smells really good. And now my mom added one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. And the ginger garlic paste is made from scratch. Wow, that, that really smells good. I gotta tell you this, this soya chunks, oil, the fried oil, itself giving a lot of flavor to this. So to chop tomatoes into it, you're gonna start it good. Like you're gonna soft this out until the tomatoes get like mushy and like very soft. So this is how it turns into. And next goes the lid. And leave it on the low flame. We'll add a little bit of water to make into the thick paste. So now let's do the blending so this is how it looks after you mix all kind of spices together with a little bit of water water do not add like too much of water into it because it's going to become like thin like, like watery so we, we, we want the thick paste so don't 
don't add too much of water. What we made from all the spices. Like I said, the thicker the paste will be, the, the better the taste. Now, salt it good. Everything should, like, you know, mix well with all the tomatoes, chili, curry leaves, and onions, green, everything together with this paste, with this spice, spice paste. That goes um, a salt, salt according to the taste. And then goes paprika powder, which is red chili powder. Like one teaspoon is more than enough. But if you don't want to eat much spice, yes, you're always very welcome to reduce the spice to half or lesser than that. Then goes garam masala, which I didn't mention uh, in the ingredients and uh, at the beginning because many of them really don't want it garam masala as it gets like, too spicy for them. Okay, so you see like how the oil is oozing on the sides. So once you see that around the paste and uh, uh, like around this paste, you're going to add the, the fried soya chunks into it now. Now mix it well. After you add water to it, again you're going to mix it well and cover the lid on the high flame and leave it until the whole like the water becomes like clove thick and the gravy will well almost this whole water is like the gravy is getting thicker you're going to add the coriander leaves and you know some uh, chopped finely chopped spring onions if you have and if you want it to mix it well wow we oh my god this smells really delicious i'm talking about this is this is so much a healthy food which is have the high proteins high proteins than egg meat fish and this is purely a vegan food which have like you know high proteins and cashews everything whatever you need for your body even the carbs and some fat the proteins everything you have in it so vegans it's so good for you guys so you can go with without a doubt and the people who want like high protein and the body just go with it huh. all right so now it's almost done let's go to the serving oh wow did you see that delish yes soya chunk gravy wow that's that's really tasty and it smells so delicious this half it's not just delicious it's also about high protein and very very healthy food to eat so i highly recommend and suggest you to try this and let us know how it how, how it comes for you through the comments and please subscribe and like us for to support us thank you so much and we'll see you next time stay safe